something is wrong with 3i Atlas. That has been the recurring sentiment among astronomers, image analysts, and amateur sky watchers since its first detection. But now, the newest processed imagery, a deep 20-minute composite released in late November 2025, pushes the object from unusual comet into a much stranger category. This is not the hazy ice ball many expected as it entered the inner solar system. Instead, the interstellar visitor has unveiled a perfectly symmetric, star-shaped luminous core bordered by a radiating halo of plasma-like material and absolutely no visible tail. It is a shape so unnervingly ordered that it appears closer to engineering than nature. Comets rarely conform to neat geometry. Dust jets erupt as chaotic flares, driven by unpredictable outgassing as sunlight warms ices on the nucleus. Long exposures smear those jets into sweeping tails, or fuzzy, lopsided comae. That is how the physics of sublimation works. But in this new composite of 3i Atlas, taken over 20 minutes and stacked for clarity, the opposite happened. Instead of blurring into randomness, the core resolved into cleaner structure, four sharp arms of glowing particulate curving outward in nearly perfect symmetry. There is no directional plume stretching behind it, no debris streamer, nothing that signifies momentum through space as it sweeps closer to the sun. The object looks stationary, centered in its own radiating energy, defying what motion, sunlight, and physics should do to a dusty wanderer from another star. The image alone has ignited a frenzy, Researchers note the unmistakable four-point geometry, cross-like, mathematically precise, and too evenly distributed to be a trick of imaging. The brightness bloom around the core is dense and uniform, resembling a contained plasma rather than a cloud of dust dragged by solar wind. If this were a typical comet, the long exposure should reveal the direction of travel. Material would be stripped into a trailing filament, Yet here, the gas and particles remain anchored, as if locked into structure by an internal mechanism or trapped within a magnetic shell. When the first amateur discoveries of 3i Atlas circulated, the expectation was that it would behave similarly to the previous interstellar object, Oumuamua, another cosmic interloper that baffled scientists with its dramatic light curve fluctuations and tumbling motion. But even Oumuamua displayed behavior we could at least argue over. Elongated shape, weird acceleration, yes, but still something we could attempt to categorize. With 3i Atlas, nature appears to have abandoned our categories entirely. One working theory suggests extremely rapid rotation. If the nucleus is spinning fast enough, ejecta from multiple vents could blur into a toroidal halo a ring of dust circulating like a cosmic smoke machine. Combined with rotation, such jets might average into radial symmetry when seen in long exposures, producing something that just barely resembles what we are seeing. But to maintain that geometry perfectly at increasing proximity to the sun would require a rotational regime and structural integrity that comets simply do not possess. A dirty snowball should fracture or shed material violently, Yet each new image reveals a tighter, more luminous core, as if the structure is strengthening instead of collapsing. Another hypothesis considers that the object's composition is fundamentally foreign. Interstellar space breeds bodies that form under different magnetic, chemical, and gravitational conditions. Some researchers propose that the glowing arms might be ion jets interacting with solar radiation in a way we have not documented before. Particles suspended and confined by a self-organizing electromagnetic field. If true, that would indicate a nucleus rich in conductive metals or volatile compounds that respond differently to the sun's particles. It would not explain the extreme symmetry, but it would at least edge the phenomenon into unfamiliar but possible physics rather than outright impossibility. There is a darker interpretation. The disappearance of the tail, combined with increased luminosity and precision in the core, has led to some fringe analysts to suggest that the comet is fragmenting. Instead of a single nucleus, 3i Atlas might consist of multiple pieces locked into tight formation, each emitting material at equal force.
If the fragments orbit a common center, the jets from each could merge into a fairy tale perfect bloom, a flower of plasma rotating in space. Fragmentation typically leads to chaos and disintegration. Here, the opposite seems to be happening. The object remains unified and intensifies in brightness, as if coordinated. Whatever the cause, this transformation is accelerating. Over the past few weeks, as 3i Atlas has moved closer to Earth, energy readings extracted from the stacked frames indicate rapid brightening and increasingly extreme symmetry. Its coma, if this symmetrical glow can still be called one, appears more concentrated than any solar system comet ever recorded. It is not expanding outward, but focusing inward, channeling luminosity toward the center. The closer it gets to the sun, the more it tightens itself into this inexplicable shape. It is, in every scientific sense, behaving backwards. Momentum in scientific discourse has shifted from cautious curiosity to urgent analysis. Space-based spectrometers are being aimed. Ground observatories are scrambling for more time on their scopes. Teams are preparing motion-tracking models to predict whether the structure might change dramatically as gravitational forces increase. And yet, even with new resources deployed, the community faces a simple, humbling truth. We do not have a framework for whatever 3i Atlas is turning into. In private discussions leaking onto public channels, some researchers are willing to say aloud what they would not normally risk in academic circles. The object's morphology looks engineered. That does not imply artificial origin, but the symmetry feels too deliberate, too perfectly preserved to be the product of sublimating ice and shattered rock. When an object maintains order while energy increases, scientists instinctively consider process, not accident. Still, caution prevails in official statements. Most astronomers insist that no conclusion can be drawn yet. There is too little data. Nature routinely surprises us. Unexplained does not mean unnatural. And yet, behind the professional restraint is the unmistakable excitement of witnessing something unprecedented. For many who have studied comets their entire lives, 3i Atlas represents the discovery of a lifetime, perhaps of many lifetimes. The interstellar origin already marked this object as rare. Only a handful of confirmed visitors have ever crossed into our solar system from beyond. Each one arrived with new chemical signatures and odd behaviors that stretched our expectations. But even among that lineage of outsiders, 3i Atlas sets itself apart. Where the others presented puzzles at the margins of understanding, this one challenges the foundation itself. It confronts us with the possibility that our models of small bodies, their structure, their rotation, their outgassing, their magnetic interactions, are fundamentally incomplete. Whatever the enforcement behind its shape, the countdown now accelerates. The coming weeks will provide the most revealing perspectives as the object approaches 167 million miles away from Earth by December 19th. That is just weeks from now. Is there any reason for us to be concerned? Personally, I don't think so. Uh, I think it's quite a distance away. Uh, we're not going to be invaded by aliens from a Hollywood movie set. So I think that it's, uh, it's harmless. It's so far away that we're not going to be endangered. Yeah, uh, Professor Avi Loeb has really been out in front of all of this, uh, theorizing this could be extraterrestrial in nature. Perhaps this is a craft coming, doing some reconnaissance, just coming to check us out. What is your message to him? What do you have to say about his theories? Well, speculation is fine, but you have to quantify it. You have to say that what is the level of confidence on the speculation? Is it 100%? Is it 1%? Otherwise, you panic the public, and the public wants to know the truth. Because afterwards, if it turns out it was a false alarm, then there's going to be a public backlash. People are going to say, what? We wasted all our efforts and there was no danger at all. So I think when you mention the dangers, you have to quantify it to say how realistic is this estimate. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, as it gets closest to Earth, that will be on December 19th, we'll have the best opportunity to use the hundreds of telescopes on Earth and the Hubble and Webb Space Telescopes to get our best uh, data on it. So. As far as I can tell, in terms of scientific output, there wasn't much uh, offered. Uh, you know, yeah. the, the beauty of science is that 
it's not up to people to decide what nature is. We just need to observe nature and figure it out. It's like a detective story. So it's much better than politics because in politics, uh, you get a lot of misinformation.